Hey, what's going on everybody? So I am on my way to a private workout in the off season with some players. I have an idea who's going to be there, but with these type of things, you never know who's going to show up. So I'm optimistic about who's going to be there. I will have full clips of the workouts on the channel. So be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the full footage. But in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about my observations from the workout, how guys look to me. And it's just a reminder that the off season never stops. These guys are always working, always grinding, even if they're not at UM. So they're definitely getting ready for the season. So I'm looking forward to it. So definitely stay tuned. So I just got here, saw a few players, Daryl Porter Jr. transfer from West Virginia, as well as safeties James Williams and Cameron Kitchens. Really good seeing these guys. They are currently inside doing some weightlifting stuff before they get out on the field. So I'm gonna let them do that, handle their business inside, and then get a look at them on the field as they continue to train in the off season. Really curious to see how all three of these guys are doing.
the guys wrapped up their workouts for the day and just a few observations. You know, first off, all three of the guys were really focused on their explosion, you know, out of the gates with the trainer they were working with. And also, all three of the guys were focused on their conditioning. They put a lot of time into that, running long sprints, you know, really staying with it throughout the workout. Again, they were also inside doing weightlifting, so it was a busy day for them. You know, Cam and James did the conditioning, but Daryl stayed after, and his workout consisted of a little bit more of the ball drill stuff, a little bit more of the cornerback stuff. You can definitely see the full video of Daryl and his workout and how he looked that I'll post later on the channel. Just some initial observations with all three of the guys. First off, it was great to see Cam out here. Didn't get a chance to see him in spring ball out with an injury, but I thought he, I thought he looked great. I thought he ran well. Physically, he looks great. You know, I think he's in store for a good season, you know, definitely this year. And I think sometimes people overlook him, even though he got a lot of playing time last year. But definitely, I think Cam is going to be in the mix. Once again, looked great today, moved really well, and just a really solid guy. And certainly he's going to look to have a big summer. You know, right now we're in early May, and definitely these guys have a lot of months and weeks ahead before they get ready for fall camp and before that September opener. So a lot still more to do. James Williams also looked great. He always does, but you know, it's just good seeing him out here. He's somebody I've mentioned on the channel before that I just believe is gonna have a really big year. I think he has a chance to be Miami's best defensive player this year. So certainly keep an eye out on James. I think he did a good job last year as a freshman. We saw flashes, but I think the second year, because I've seen a lot of these guys have good solid freshman years, but that second year for the really talented players who put in work, like what we've seen with James and what we've he heard about, since he's been at UM. He's been a guy that's worked and certainly cares about being great. So I just think everything is, is falling in line with him. I think he's gonna have a big summer. I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of his summer goes as he continues to improve and just really get focused on that second season. But like I said, I think he's gonna have a big year. I thought he did a good job in the spring game, coming down with that interception. I thought that was good for him. Again, that's what you're looking for with James Williams more of. We saw it as a freshman at times getting his hands on the ball but i just think you're going to see more of that in year two just some observations with daryl porter jr it's the first time i've seen him in person since he's committed to miami to transfer from west virginia good couple years at west virginia check out the video on more insight into daryl on how his time went with the mountaineers definitely check that out if you haven't yet but just my observations out here today the one thing that stood out to me was just physically, I think he looks great. You know, he's not the tallest guy, but he's a very solid corner. I think he's well physically built. I think he ran well. I thought he had good footwork. And I don't think that there's any question that this guy is going to be in the mix up for Miami at cornerback. I don't think he's going to be behind because he wasn't out here in the spring. I don't think the cornerbacks, although, you know, you heard coaches mention they were pleasantly surprised with the cornerback position. That's what Kevin Steele, the DC had to say in spring ball. I just don't think anybody really elevated their play that, you know, someone where Daryl can't pass him. So I think Daryl is certainly going to be in the mix. He's out here working all the time. He definitely knows what he wants to do, and this is going to be year three in college for him. So certainly a big year. I know he's happy to be back in South Florida, American Heritage product. So I, I think he's going to be great or, or definitely be in the mix for Miami. We'll see how he does, but I definitely think he's a good pickup and definitely somebody that has a chance to, to have a big role at UM. Another observation I had from, you know, watching a little bit of the weight room stuff, you know, just seeing them work out there and obviously working out on the field and doing their drills and their conditioning and all those things, you know, it was very businesslike and that stood out to me. There wasn't a lot of playful stuff. It wasn't a waste of time. They came out here, they did their work, they put in the work and then they left. And I think that's very important for these guys you know, because they've got to do stuff. I, I, I strongly believe you've got to do some stuff aside from what the UM staff and, and the coaches are requiring. And certainly there's limitations of what they can do with UM. You know, they can't be doing all these things at UM. There's certain things that they cannot do because of NCAA rules. So they've got to do this extra stuff. And a lot of players do. You know, these are three players that I mentioned that I saw today, but certainly a lot of guys are putting in work. I, I've, I've seen this o over the years of covering the teams, but guys do this all across South Florida in particular. But even if they're not in Florida, I know guys are putting in work. And a guy like Daryl Porter, you know, he's coming in. He does not want to fall behind, as I mentioned. You know, he definitely wants to make sure he's on point when he's actually able to work out with the team. But I, I think all three of these guys, uh, very interested to see how they continue 
throughout the summer with their workouts, but obviously when, when fall practices start, because you do see players evolve. You know, if you don't see them for a few months, and all of a sudden all this work that they're putting in in the off season, it's, you start, it starts to pay dividends when the practices start, when the games start. And, and a lot of guys will reference back to these kind of times, you know, when, during the season, like this is where it all began, whether it's at UM or, you know, at their local high school or a park like this, you know, th this is where, where, where it all begins. So these guys are working hard. Uh, that was an observation as well. You know, like I said, these guys are putting in work. They did all this stuff. It's very warm out here in Miami as usual, but certainly these guys are doing work. So I think all three of these guys will be interesting to watch for moving forward. I know these guys are putting in the time, which, which is great to see. But again, Daryl Porter, thought he looked good with the drills, his footwork, definitely looks like he'll be a factor at the cornerback spot as he jumps right in there. Has a couple years of experience at West Virginia. I think James Williams is in store for a really big season for Miami. And you know, Cameron Kitchens, just seeing him out here once again, I thought it was great. I personally was, was glad to see that he was out here. Um, definitely a good surprise, you know, just to see him and he's working out and, and doing all the things he's supposed to be doing, coming back from injury. So he looks great. I think he's definitely gonna be in the mix to start for Miami at safety with James Williams, Avante Williams is there as well, but they're gonna find a way. I, I got a feeling that they're gonna try to find a way to get these guys a lot of reps. But as you know, a lot can happen in football either with availability, guys going down with injury, whatever it might be, or just pure play. You know, sometimes you go into a season or a fall or with a certain expectations for certain players, but if they don't rise to that level, you know, there's other guys that are gonna pass them. And I find that particularly interesting at the safety position because I think all three of these guys can be quality safeties at Miami. Once again, good to see these guys. Great seeing Daryl Porter for the first time. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. I wanna thank everybody for watching. If you've got more recommendations, definitely drop in the comments. Also, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think of these three players. Are you excited about any one in particular? Are you looking forward to seeing if these guys will have a big year? But definitely drop in the comments below. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you have a good rest of the day and take care.